Yeah, scruffy. This is what happens when you don't work during the week. This is what happens when you have no gigs during the week. You get real scroungy. You get real scruffy. I have no gigs. But that's not why we're here today. So, I got the Crop and Style Scrapbook Tote. But unfortunately, the wheels got completely and unbelievably shredded. I mean, they are both just really bad. And I dremel them to try to even them out, but uh, you can hear me coming from a mile away. And I mean like... It's really, really annoying. And the story behind that... So... I had a gig and it was at a college and this is like a college where you have to drive to get from one side of campus to the other and it was snowing. I had another gig immediately after the college gig. The building was hard to find as it was. It was like an arts building, right? So I found the arts building and then I had to park four blocks away. and. I'm running late and I'm lost and I don't even know where I am honestly I'm like is this the right place am I in the right room I'm looking for the green room salt got jammed up in my wheels I didn't care <laughs> I mean I literally just power dragged that that cart I did not care when I have a gig I'm in the zone so I just power dragged it all the way through and that's what happened. One side got grinded down to a nub, and that was the end of that. Okay, so I would say add a second balloon. See, I made kind of like a star. I would add a second balloon, and if you just kind of made little bubbles and went all the way around, it would fill it out and make the pot of gold look better. Oh my god! Gold balloons are so annoying to blow up. Ah, I hate it. Da -da -da. All right, I think that looks good. That's that's good. Who cares? I don't care. All right, now that is a pot of gold. And maybe people might not recognize it right away. But if you put this in the leprechaun's hand, it'll look really cool. And in hindsight, I'm thinking, if you're going to put this in the leprechaun's hand, you should get a link loon or a quick link, or put a raisin in the bottom. This way you can grab it from the bottom and put it in the leprechaun's hand, because now you're going to have to tie it to, like, this piece, you know, and yeah, so now that this is done, let's make a leprechaun. A leprechaun! 
leprechaun, a little leprechaun. Oh, it's fun. Yay, I'm so cool. All right. So let's start by making the easy part, which is the leprechaun's body. So if we base our design off of a picture of what we're looking at here, the leprechaun is usually pretty dark green, or maybe shades of light and dark green. Oh, that's the ugly one. That's the mean one. We don't want to make that guy. That's not what we want. Oh my God. Okay, like that one, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one, except that he doesn't have his red beard. Um, that one has green boots. That's pretty interesting. That one's got uh, the buckle. So pretty much they all have the hat with the buckle in it. And they all have a belt with a buckle for the most part. And oh, man. Oh, oh hold on. This is a kid's channel. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's the ugly one again. All right, so you guys get the picture. Whoa! Oh, man! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, man! What Google images, what's going on here? I just want a nice, normal picture of a le... Oh, my God! Oh, okay, all right. That's a nice, safe picture. Oh, sorry, YouTube. Oh, man. I'm really sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's a nice picture. Yeah, we're going to go with that one, all right? So, um... Wow, okay, ooh, okay, okay, oh, okay, wow, ooh, oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh, how about this one, holding a beer, oh, oh, yeah, that's the one we want, that one right there, so we'll start off by putting a bend in the two green balloons, those will be the arms, and introduce them, and put a pinch twist, and like this, very good. Pinch twist, very good, like this. In fact, put two pinch twists. I like two pinch twists. Okay, all right. And now for the body. I would say we're gonna give him like a white shirt, you know? So um, I should have put more air in them. That's a little, not a lot of air. So let's see what we can get out of this one balloon. We're gonna come up and down. Just making a four balloon quadrant and push that little balloon through. And then put the arms on the sides. All right. So now I guess we'll break off that little piece. We don't want that. And you know, I'm gonna do a little variety here. We're gonna go with the uh, light green pants just to mix and match. And leprechauns are pretty short, right? So let's give them short legs. And from all the pictures I've seen, the leprechaun doesn't wear boots, he wears uh, shoes. So that's good news for us. And that extra green balloon, I just ran it up the back. You don't have to, but I, I just, I don't know, I just did it. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let's even out our legs. All right, easy enough. So let's give him a white shirt. Do the white shirt a couple of ways. You can just run it right up, tie it in, and you're done. Or you can give it a little bit of um, the ruffles, the flare. And how the way to go about that would be to make little bubbles. Four or five. And you go right back down. And I guess you can come right back up too, if you got enough balloon left. So, you know, just like that. I would puff out his chest a little bit, see if you can grab that middle piece and puff it out. Right, 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 okay. So, a couple of things are really important. His belt and his buckle. So let's get that up and running. And his shoes and his hands. Okay, so I'm making pretty basic shoes. I'm not really going into detail with the shoes. I guess you can give him socks if you really wanted to, but 
you know, I think the detail is going to be in his face and his shirt. I never really care about shoes. Nobody ever says to me, wow, that's an awesome balloon, but his shoes look like crap. That's never happened to me, ever. Ever. It's never happened. Alright, that's looking pretty cool, but wait! There's more. Now, I would say you could also use 160s, but I'm gonna use stick with 260s for now. So I'll make his belt. Where you have it meet in the back and then make a pinch twist, right? And then, usually, you want to hide the pinch twist balloon in the back, but for this instance, we want it in the front. And I'll tell you why. Because we want to put the buckle on. The buckle's really cool. Now remember, you're making the buckle really small, so do very small bubbles, okay? You do bubble pinch twist, bubble pinch twist, bubble pinch twist, until you get a square. You keep it small. That's why you should be using 160s. But it's really hard to mount the plate 160s, so we're going with 260s. So right there, tie that in. Okay, don't break that piece off yet. Save it, all right? So let's put the pinch twist right in between the buckle. I said save it just in case like a balloon leak or a pinch twist broke or if you wanted to cover that piece, but that looks really cool, and in hindsight, I should have made his legs longer. Who cares? Who cares? So I just tied a balloon to the end, made three pinch twists. This is when that link balloon would come in handy. You just tie that right in. Because we don't have that, I think we're gonna have to use that pinch twist. And just run it through, just, just tie it through. Push the balloon right through. Okay, it looks more, <laughs> it looks more like beer, but <laughs> whatever. It's a pot of gold. All right, now for the part you've all been waiting for, his head. The body's easy, right? That's easy body. And you can cut corners if you really wanted to, but yeah, that's cool. Okay, so for the body, we're just going to make a basic loodle face. Just a generic four balloon quadrant with two pinch twists. So let's blaze right through that. The only other option you could do is if you wanted to do a nose with one of the quadrants. So instead of just making four equal quadrants, you can kind of go halfway, make a pinch twist for the nose, and then go to the other half. Uh, you know what's really funny? For all those Google images, uh, none of the leprechauns had a mustache. They only had beards. So, yeah, that's the thing. But this is your balloon. You can do what you want with it. I'm going to try it with the, um, with the nose like that in the middle. Okay, so that's one way to start the face, right? And you just add the beard, add a little hair, give him his hat. And I think this is going to work because we can use the hat and then we can get the knot through to the other side and then we can use that. So I know I didn't show it on camera, but basically we did six. I did three in the front, except for this piece, and three in the back. Now for the hair. You can go straight over the top or you can go bubbles. Let's go bubbles, just because. Okay, so we got that, and now we'll make his beard, so we just go all the way through to the other side. And yeah, I guess we'll use the rest of this piece to make the back of his hair. And we might as well use that piece to go to the back to the other side. So what we have now is what you see. And what I'm thinking is, we're gonna put the hat right in the middle, on the top of his head, right? And then we're gonna get an uninflated piece, and we're gonna push that through to the other side, 
And that's where I'm going to grab it. But this balloon is super compressed, so I'm, I feel like it's going to break. Okay, so for the hat, two bubbles tied together. Then do it again. So you have that. And then you do up and down. Just go up and down. And it's kind of, his hat should be green, not black. But uh, yeah, we made a green hat. And then if you want extra detail, you can put a 160 around. Or what I'm going to show you. Did four pieces for the hat. And the excess isn't long enough, so we're going to take this yellow excess. That's going to be our balloon that we're going to pull this through on. Okay, so what I decided was that if I put it too forward, his hair falls over and covers his eyes, and we don't want that. So I put the hat slightly behind, and I used that hair to run the balloon through. Do you see that? All right. And now that we have that, we have this piece on the other side. Make this as tight as tight can be. I mean, pull it super tight. And we're going to tie this right onto the head. As tight as you can. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good, except that... Because of this way that we did it, if I have his head directly above where his neck should be, his head kind of looks upward, and if we push it a little bit forward, it kind of looks like he's uh, looking forward more. So you can adjust that where you want it. All right, so let's just get um, a split five inch round for the eyes. Get on the nose. Leprechaun have green eyes. Now, if you have these edding pens, which you probably don't because they're hard to find, especially in yellow, I had to buy the assortment pack just to get it in yellow. But if you did, you would be able to draw the buckle on. And that looks cool, except that it probably should be bigger. Okay, so I like the design. I think it looks really good. But me being a perfectionist, I hate that the hat is like sitting on the back of his head. I want to try to get it like up here more. So let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so I added just one more balloon of hair. And yeah, that's a little better, right? And let's add one more. Oh, it's so cool now. So guys, there you have it. There is the Leprechaun. This was a special request, another one. This is my second special request I've done. And it's for Philip McKee. So far, I've had two people tip me for my balloons, and this will be the third guy that tips me for my balloons, and it's really cool that I get special requests for certain designs that people want to learn because it gets me motivated to make a video. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm lazy. I'm not going to make the video because I'm lazy, you know, and also I don't get enough views, and I'm not making any... That looks cool and all. Don't forget, you don't have to make it uh, the face this way. You could do just a standard four bubble loodle or five bubble loodle or even a six bubble loodle without the nose pinch twist thing where you would have to use the tip of a 260 
and you use that as a nose and then you pull it through and pull it down but I did that yesterday at, at my restaurant and I wasn't really feeling it so I tried it this way and I think it looks perfect this way so guys there it is I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy my silliness and my crazy antics because if I ain't having fun then what's the point of doing these vi videos you know what I mean you gotta have some fun so for all you fuddy duddies that just want me to teach the balloon you got other balloon people on YouTube to do that you know I wanna make you laugh while you're learning so have some fun life is short live it up I think I'm rambling on too much see ya and top of the morning to ya top of the morning to ya ah leprechaun happy St. Patrick's Day Oh, I don't really talk like an Irishman. There you go, Philip McCabe. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah.